Hi, I'm Wes with Noria. We're on a mission to make the world better through lubrication excellence. Most of our machines and plants have filters attached to them with our oil systems. And that's fantastic because these filters are able to deliver oil clean and dry to our machine and make sure that it runs very well. However, these filters are a bank vault of information. It is very historic information telling us what's going on inside that machine as well as what's going on inside of our oil. So we should be taking these filters and analyzing them. Now, if they're your spin-on type filters, we can cut that housing and then unroll the pleated material to see what's going on inside of it. For instance, if we unpleat that material and take a look at it, we're seeing metal flakes. Obviously, that gives us a good indication of abnormal machine wear going on inside of it. But let's talk about maybe reservoir conditions. A lot of our internal reservoirs are painted. So if we start seeing paint chips, we have a great indication that the painting is flaking off the inside of our reservoir. We can do the same thing looking for things like contaminants to make sure that our seals and our breathers are in good condition. So taking a look at the inside of these filters is very important for judging whether they're working well or not, or even telling you what steps you need to take to better seal up your equipment. So for more information on cutting open filters or figure out how to do it, visit our magazine website at machinerylubrication.com.